Good morning, this is Paul Chapeau from Get Equal Georgia. I'm here at the Georgia State Capitol with friends and allies and supporters from the Queer Justice League as well as Get Equal Georgia. And we're here to confront and demand an apology from Representative Franklin. Mr. Franklin has made several comments in the community as of late, one in which he criticized the LGBT community and slandered us. So we've got a letter that we're going to present today to Mr. Franklin, explaining to him the mistakes that he's made and asking for an apology. I'm going to read to you the letter that we're going to present to Representative Franklin. Here goes. Dear Representative Franklin, as Georgians and Americans, we have different opinions, values, and beliefs. Some say this melting pot of culture is what makes our country unique, that this diversity is essential to our American way of life. The point of this letter is not to address the merits of diversity, but rather the problems created when diversity is not respected. Specifically, we wish to address your recent comments to the Marietta Daily Journal, which included which, which many, including the Queer Justice League, consider to be simply unacceptable. Your comment comparing members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer communities to drug dealers is offensive. We believe that the climate of hateful rhetoric must come to an end on both sides of the political aisle. Unfortunately, your comments do nothing to accomplish this and in fact exasperate the situation. As Georgians, the citizens you were elected to represent, we demand that you issue a formal and personal apology in response to your comments. We also demand that you and your staff engage in sensitivity and diversity training in order to better address the diverse opinions, beliefs, and values of your constituents. While we respect that every individual is entitled to choose their own values and morals, we do not accept comp uh, comparisons of your constituents to criminals. We hope that you choose to address this incident in a timely and effective manner. As your constituents, we, we await your response and will continue to engage you regarding this incident. This letter was signed by the Queer Justice League, Get Equal Georgia, Gentle Spirit Christian Church, Progressive Christian Alliance, Marietta P. Flag, Mega Family, Savannah Queer Power, Mondo Homo, Atlanta Stonewall Democrats, Georgia Log Cabin Republicans, and the Libertarian Party of Cobb County. My name's Art Izzard. I'm with the Queer Justice League. Uh, I'll keep it brief. I just simply wanted to remind Representative Franklin that he represents all of his constituents in Cobb County. Um, and when he denigrates any one of us, he's denigrating everyone, and he needs to step forward and apologize for the comments he made, as we've outlined in our letter. And uh, does anybody else have anything to say? All right, thank you. What Paul is doing right now is filling out a request form to speak to the representative. You fill out one of these forms and then it is handed to a page who will go hand it to the representative on the floor. The rep can actually say if they cannot leave at the time or they'll call you as soon as they're able or they'll ask you to wait or they'll send you some other message. This is how you actually get to talk to your representative here at the Capitol when they're in session. Just outside of the House chamber, we are waiting to hand the note off to the page who will actually run it into the representative. This is how you would, after you fill out that form, you come to the doors outside the House chamber and you hand it to the page staff right here. So here it is. And then they will hand it off to the page who will then run the document in for us. The page has just brought back the note, uh, it's just come back from delivering the note to Representative Franklin and he said he may come out to meet with us. We're going to give him approximately 10 minutes to see how that works out. Hopefully he does come and speak to his uh, constituents. Well, we gave it a good shot. Here we are at the Georgia State Capitol, right outside of the House of Representatives. We've submitted our request to Representative Bobby Franklin to come out and speak with us. We've waited, and it appears that Bobby Franklin is not going to come out and talk to us. So at this point, we're going to go over to the Coverdale building, and we're going to submit our letter to his office. This way, he cannot say that he has not seen our request and demand for an apology. All right, well here we are outside the Coverdale building. Inside is Bobby Franklin's office. As you know, we just went into the Capitol when we requested him to come off the floor as a constituent for constituent meeting, and Bobby refused to do so. 
So let's go inside and we're going to deliver our letter to his office. This way he cannot say he didn't hear from us. Here we are on the fourth floor of the Coverdale building, right outside Bobby Franklin's office, number 401. We've got the letter in hand, and we're about to give it to his office. I am his administrator. How are you today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm Paul Great. Here's the letter. All right. Shall I um, put this on here? Okay. Okay. Okay, you are asking him to do what? To apologize for some remarks that he made to Maria de Daly. Well, for, to be more specific, he criticized and slandered the LGBTQ community of Georgia. And this letter is uh, co-signed by uh, several organizations that have signed on. Uh, we're demanding that he address those comments and apologize to the LGBTQ community. Okay. Requesting. Requesting. Not necessarily demanding, requesting. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I'm pretty much demanding. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. I, I will promise you I'll put this on his desk. So. Thank you very much. So, no he was quoted in the paper saying he had not, we had mailed this letter to him, and he made a press statement to the Marietta uh, Press saying that he had not seen any such letters. So we felt encouraged uh, that we would come down and give it to you. Um, so that he cannot say that again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you. He's for sure got it on. Absolutely. All right. Thank you All very right. much. May I ask that you are his administrative assistant? Administrative. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's Lee Goff. Mm -hmm. Lee thank Goff. You. So, well, thank you. you for coming by. Thank you so much for your time. Let me. Just this is my off the record comment. Sure. I think it is wonderful that we live in the United States of America where an elected official can propose legislation and it has to come up for a vote. You know, and just something that's way out there just doesn't move forward.